On the show today, Mr. Zico speaks out. The Beach House in Kolwa is a one-of-a-kind therapeutic retreat. And the legendary club Tito's in Baga has an amazing evening. My brother used to say that uh, he started to play football with six, seven years on the streets. I started with six, seven years on the street, in the middle of the road. So I was of such a skillful player. I used to play just with the bigger boys. Because the kid the same age was very easy. So, and since his childhood, he was used this way. Desde, desde pequeno foi acostumado dessa forma. So, as my family says, I started playing football with six, seven years uh, old in the, on the streets. As soon as I was growing up, I, I showed a lot of skillful skills and, and also I played always with the bigger boys, never with the boys with my same age. So it was playing with the teams from my, my neighborhood. So as I used to play uh, football salon, it's called uh, futsal, and also uh, football. I was invited to play in a, in a place called River, nearby his, his house. So suddenly, one of these uh, Sunday mornings, one journalist from this area was there in the ground and saw him play. So in this game, he just scored nine goals. So the journalist got very amazed with Zico and went direct to his house and asked his father, please, can I bring this boy to play to Flamengo? So my, my, my father allowed it and I, I was very happy for that. I was just waiting for the date to start my practice in Flamengo. And this way that started my career in football with 13, 14 years old. So after that, I was playing every category in Flamengo till I, I came to professional level. I arrived there in 67. In 71 was my premiere in the professional with 18 years old. So it was the beginning of my, my career. So for me, I took it very easy. Uh, because I had two brothers that uh, he, they played professionally also they have very nice moments and go up and downs so I understood how the, 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 the football world was so I was not eluded with it so I took it very 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 easy way I knew that when I was in a, in a good shape and in a good season a lot of people would come to me, hug me, celebrate me, praise me but these same people when I was not in, in, in too good uh, condition they would like despise me and say bad things about me so I never uh, in this football world I never let the things take me away you know so as I knew it so I always try to do my best in the practice and you know, I knew that I had a lot of expectations about me so always I try to prove myself in, in, the, in the practice uh, and show it in the, the real game. Football is this way, when you play in a high level people always expecting great things from you so you, you need to do hard practice and also you can show this in the, on the field. In my life always was this way, always was charged you know always trying to play with the, the, the bigger boys and everything always trying to do my best to 
to do the best on the field. So practice hard, getting body, physically, emotionally, mentally, and everything. So uh, Brazil and India are very populated countries. So there are many opportunities for people to love the, 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 a lot of sports, you know, and included football. So I hope that this I League can bring this passion for the, the, the people here in India because in Brazil this love for football came for many decades ago and now here in India I want to see through the ISL it happening also. Any great sport is like a movie by, by great names, the great uh, athletes from these uh, different models of sports. So the same with football. So I hope that these great names that came here, great examples, they can inspire people. So here you have like uh, the South American football culture, Asian culture, uh, European culture of football. So it would be a great uh, set for Indian football. He said that for him it's not a problem, you know, because he's used to work with many, many players like in this way. The other teams having the same situation, you know, work with foreigners and, and, and Indians. There are a bigger number of foreigners, so he thinks that uh, in the future, if you reduce the num numbers of uh, foreigners and put more Indians, it would be better. Yeah. It was the, some of the players, that, the Indian players that was in the national team, or the, the foreigners that was injured or didn't arrive in time. But the important is uh, to have a group uh, in your hands, not just the, the 11. So we are doing the work to have this group. So in, in this kind of situation, sometimes we have three, four months to adjust the team, just to adjust the team. Now we have three, four months to be in the final. So it's a, it's a lot of hurry. So, uh, but the other team is in the same condition than me. So it's everyone new. <laughs>
so I hope they will help the, 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 the FC go all these players and now our final objective is to come to the, the, the first four. Stunning design, superb colors. High performance even at low voltage. Maximum airflow, minimum noise. Automotive inspired E Series fans from Usha. Gadre presents Just Like Crab Sticks. Enjoy the taste of crab in your favorite recipes. Yeah, it's a great night, man. Tito's is the hub of the Goan entertainment life, and what better night than the Goa Fashion Week? The audience in Goa is always awesome, man. Great energy, great people, and what, you, what else can you say? Tito's, where else? Yeah, the, the, the most, being Goan, it was uh, a very proud moment when uh, the owners of the team asked me to compose the Forza Goa anthem, and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed the process and it's great to see all the crowds in the stadium shouting Forza Go all the time. Yeah, the, the fashion show is great. It's the Goa Fashion Week and uh, we've got designers from all over India and models from all over India performing and uh, it's great getting uh, such uh, good quality of fashion to go Showcasing a collection in Goa, and uh, it's fun. It's nice. It's a bit 
so it's been a good experience and you know, it's my first time that I'm doing a show with uh, Hema and uh, Pretty All Week so it's a good, good experience. We do a lot of international shows so uh, yeah next week showcasing next week in Bombay again so yeah a lot of sh I mean, about four or five shows coming up next. <laughs> Beach House Goa offers different uh, wellness retreat program wherein uh, since we have a mixture of people coming in here with different aims uh, they're looking forward through. So some people would come to de-stress from their busy schedule. We have had guests who have come uh, for a break after 10 years of continuous work. They look forward for a complete relaxation plus uh, something which would cleanse, cleanse their mind and body because the body is uh, getting a lot of unhealthy food. So they want to have a clarity of mind and an overall cleansing. So for that we have a juice detox program. Uh, then we have a weight management retreat in which people would find, try to find out what is the root cause for the weight gain and what is the root cause for why they can't lose weight even though they've been doing a lot of dieting and exercise. So we would help them here to find out what is the root cause for it and help them when they go back home so that they can implement that as well and they can maintain that kind of a weight loss. Not just go from a skinny person when they're in a retreat and then go back gain whatever they have lost. Um, so we would help them to retain that. incorporating some enemas and medication which would help them with the health issues so if it's a back pain so people come here with lumbar spondylosis cervical spondylosis who have actually got relief when they go from here so that is for basically if they have a health issue we would uh, generally put them in an Indian detox program the Ayurvedic detox program Like if a person is having lumbar spondylosis or a cervical spondylosis, we have localized treatment for that. For lumbar spondylosis, we have something called as kati vasti, wherein a ring is kept onto the back of the person. So where is the pain? Over there we would keep a ring, which is made out of the mold of black gram. And then we pour in medicated warm oil into this cavity. And we keep on replacing the oil every time it cools down. And this helps to penetrate through the skin pores into the nerves and because in spondylosis this is the one what we need. We need to strengthen the nerves because it, 
nerves are getting compressed between the disc so this is something which is going to help in strengthening the nerves and cause a lubrication in between the vertebras so there is very less chances of friction between the nerves so the cutivasti is for the lumbar spondylosis and for the cervical we have the same ring kept in the cervical area where the pain is exactly aha uh -huh. so we have treatments like a full body massage like an aromatherapy which is a very light massage a complete relaxation then we have something called as a jet lag recovery massage which is totally uh, like people most of the guests would just sleep off during that massage so it's uh, basically uh, all the massages they would ask what is the pressure they need so according to the person's uh, requirement with long strokes and kneading this is how the massage would be done in a jet lag recovery massage art therapy is uh, we introduced with the intention because uh, basically to relieve stress because art therapy does not mean the person should know anything about art if you, even if it is the first time you using the canvas and the brush it's just perfect because we give you a set of paint and it's just that you play with the colors so a uh, one hour session we have seen guests who have hesitated to go into the session but once they start off they would be like can i paint another canvas because once you have the paint and the canvas you just think which color next you just draw whatever is in your mind some would choose to draw the scenery or the sea um some would draw some of their dreams or just a kind of an abstract painting so all you think is what color next and you really de-stress yourself in that one or two hours of gap so it's basically for that the art therapy at the beach house we run wellness retreats and each of our retreats have specific aims so we have say for example a classical juice fasting retreat where people mainly come to detoxify and cleanse the body so the meal plan there of course is set and everybody gets only juices and broths which is the principle that we use of fasting yeah anything that is given to the body is given in the most easy to absorb form therefore sparing energy for the process of cleaning and detoxifying the body here as nutritionists we work together with the ayurvedic doctors and we develop a menu or we've already developed a menu where we have already pacifying menus then we also run a weight management program um which has salads again so all the meals that we do give on our programs are um cleansing using also the principle of something known as the acid alkaline balance so we really focus on an alkaline meal plan for so for these people we have um again a, a wide range of you know menus so breakfast could range from indian again with all of our indian meals or menus we tweak everything around because we need to move from all refined foods to whole grains yeah so nutrition does play a big role when people come here salads is something that we also do a lot of uh but of course we use beans and lentils uh for a source of protein because it's a vegetarian place so we don't really do or serve any non vegetarian food whatever we work with them here is not just about this week it's about giving them something to take away and uh, be it a doctor's consultation be it nutrition we also focus and emphasize on talks like we do workshops and talks for guests every day which can cover a lot of the areas that we work on whenever a guest checks in we also emphasize to them that we are here to give you as much as you want in terms of uh take back from us what you can implement and we work with them on individual one to one consultations so when the doctor is talking to them based on what comes out in the doctor's consultation um recommendations are given advice is given as to how you can help manage a symptom better and what they can do for this on a day to day basis back at home with nutrition we works so each one picks up what they feel they can you know best apply to maintain an alkaline environment in the body so similarly we cover different topics we do cooking workshops we do art therapies you know again art therapy is very de-stressing so again techniques that they can do back at home to work on various aspects of their life well i've um, have a slip disc on my neck um i've hit I didn't um get a straight away appointment to for the operation so I 
instead of sitting at home and taking all my medication, I decided that let me just go to a retreat center and get Ayurvedic medication to come off my control drugs. Um, I've been here for now 14 days and it seems to be helping. The pain has eased. I, I've lost weight as well, <laughs> so it's really good. I feel quite rejuvenated specifically and trusted a Dr. Anjali who knows what she's doing um, which I felt quite eased um, with the pain and she's totally done all the treatments which is again for my neck and that neck and back uh, she has all my medical records she's got my um, MRI and um, scans so she's looked into it and the great thing is all the staff knows so if they do touch me they know that I have neck injuries <laughs> So I came here, I'm from Lebanon and I came here from Qatar, coming to do a juice detox. I read this through the internet and I like the program. It's just about uh, removing all chemicals and toxins from your body. And uh, it's been okay until now, uh, getting better. First two days were very hard, you're just on juices all day and then you get used to it. And uh, you really feel the difference after a few days. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there are a lot of things I'm going to change in terms of nutrition and uh, we can, I can make something similar to this, but like maybe uh, less uh, strict later on in the future, like detoxing for two days at home by myself, which would be also beneficial. Gatre presents the Just Like Range. Ready to cook? Healthy party snacks for the fish lovers. My favorite soccer player is Messi. My most memorable uh, thing was when I, w I joined Dempos and we won our first I-League title. My favorite soccer team is Chelsea. One part of my uh, team training is that I don't like to run a lot. One part of my thing that I like is when we play small sided games. If I was not a soccer player, I would be a volleyball player. My favorite food is fish curry rice. My favorite actress is Priyanka Chopra. My favorite dressing style is uh, casuals. I like uh, most, uh, most about Goa is that uh, the people around like uh, they love football and they encourage football very much. Well, that's all we have on the show today. Tune in next time for the highlights from Goa's away game against Kerala Blasters.